Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video of LSPDFR. Wait, no, that's the wrong intro. Welcome back to another tutorial of LSPDFR and in today's video we are installing the German Shepherd for the ultimate backup plugin. So if you guys all watched my last video, which was the ultimate backup tutorial, you guys are ready for the German Shepherd installation. So there is two things we need, obviously the download for the German Shepherd and OpenIV. So this is actually the first time we're implementing OpenIV into our game build. And this is the start to many, many things. So we're just gonna jump straight into this tutorial. It's gonna say the site is not secure, but trust me, it isn't. <laughs> But just watch what I'm clicking on and you should be fine. Also, having an ad blocker really does help. Um, the links to everything is in the description along with my mods list. Starting with OpenIV, let's go ahead and click on download now right at the top right there. It's going to say it's not safe. We're just going to advance to it and hopefully it'll download. So it downloaded for me, popped up right in the top right. Looks good. I have NordVPN and ad blocker pro i have so many different things to protect myself so it's gonna pop this stuff up so we got that we're gonna open up open iv it's gonna be ready to install so we're going to minimize out of chrome once you have open iv downloaded and you've clicked on it it's going to bring up this first page uh asking for your language we're just gonna go with english and continue it's gonna say to wait it's gonna bring up the license agreement we're just gonna go ahead and hit i accept the terms of this agreement and we're gonna hit continue so we're gonna go ahead and click on run open iv after installation because we want that to pop up once we're done uh we're just gonna leave it on this one so let's go ahead and hit continue there and we're gonna hit yes and it's gonna install it'll be just a little bit and the shortcut should pop up on the desktop right here we got that and it looks like it is done so we're gonna go ahead and hit close and it should open up since we checked that option so there it is right there windows is the option we're gonna be clicking on but not just yet we're gonna make sure to download the German Shepherd. So you probably already have both of these downloaded. So we're going to click download right at the top there. We're going to click Police Canine Shepherd version 1.01. .01. So just that top one. This should be the latest update. So let's go ahead and download that. Give it five seconds. It should pop up in the top right. Very, very easy to install. It even says how to install it in the description of this page. So I can actually show you guys. If we go back a page, let me open up this WinRAR real quick. Minimize that. If you look at the main page and scroll on down, it'll actually say how to install it right there. Very, very easy. And this is why we need open IVs because we're going through these path files to figure out where to place the German Shepherd file. So now that we have both things downloaded and open IV installed, we can actually click out of Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Close out of that. Uh, we're going to bring up the German Shepherd files. So this is what it's going to look like. If you have WinRAR, uh, we have three main files that we need, which are these right here. So we're going to leave this open. I'm actually going to drag this to my second screen so it's out of the way. So we have OpenIV right here. We're going to click on Windows under Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's go ahead and click that. It's going to ask for your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory location. So we're going to browse for that real quick. It actually found mine right away. Uh, so we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to hit Select Folder because we are on... Grand Theft Auto 5 and it should say successfully GTA 5.exe version 3095 which is the latest one that I'm on for that build we're gonna hit continue and it says do not forget to back up your original files so make sure you're always backing up your original game file if you haven't so we're gonna hit continue on that and this is the normal routine of installing open IV for the first time so once we get all this done you never have to do this again unless you update open IV or reinstall it for some odd reason all right now that we have open IV installed we're gonna go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger just dragging the sides and we're gonna move this to the side we're gonna move it right here I'm gonna drag over the German Shepherd files now the first thing that we have to do now that you have open IV installed and ready to start we're gonna click on tools and then under tools you're gonna click on ASI manager now under this you want to install all of these so we have all of them already installed but for someone that hasn't had or hasn't installed open IV these are going to say install and they're gonna look gray so make sure you install every single one of these I already had them installed so I don't need to do that but once you do that click them all should be good they should all be green and once that is done we are going to create a mods folder so we can actually do this by going to your main GTA directory so I'm gonna bring that up right here you're going to right click in this white open space new folder and you're gonna make a mods list or a mods folder 
And once you typed in mods, all lowercase, we're gonna hit enter, exit out of the GT5 directory we have here. And it should be popped up right here in OpenIV. So now that we have it there, we can go ahead and click edit mode at the top in OpenIV. Yes we are ready to add in the file oh actually i forgot a step so before you close out of your directory be sure to copy and paste your update folder that's in your directory so we're going to right click on update copy double click on mods and paste it right in here it should be somewhat quick depending on your hard drive speed so for me, it'll be about 25, 30 seconds and it should be done. All right, now that we have the update folder in our mods folder, we can go ahead and X out of your directory. All right, now that we have the update folder in there and now we're moved on to OpenIV, we are going to come to the left side over here and we're going to click on x64e.rpf because that's where the German Shepherd files are going to go. So we're gonna click on that. It's going to have this pop-up right here and make sure it says copy to mods folder. So now that that's popped up, we're gonna go ahead and click on that because we want to do this all under the mods folder and not the original one. So now that it's moved over to mods, as you can tell, we're under mods, x64e.rpf. We're going to double click on models, CD images, and streampedsac.rpf right there. So this is where you see all the dogs in GTA 5, at least I believe so, these are most of them. Uh, we're going to drag and drop the AC Shepard YFT, YMT, and the folder all into OpenIV. And remember to be under edit mode. You want to be on edit mode. So we're going to highlight all this, unclick the readme, and we're going to drag and drop right into OpenIV. And that is about it. So now that we have the Shepard in the game, let's go ahead and hop into GTA 5 and... Uh, Load up LSPDFR and I'll show you guys. Let's go. All right, we are inside GTA 5. Let's go ahead and load up LSPDFR so that we can get the German Shepherd. So we're gonna type in load plugin, hit tab, hit tab again to load LSPDFR, hit enter, and we're gonna let that load. All right, it loaded LSPDFR. We're gonna type in force duty now. We're gonna hit tab, enter, and it'll put us directly on duty. So we're actually ready to patrol now. And uh, now that we're ready, we can actually spawn the German Shepherd. So we're gonna go ahead and hit B on the keyboard to bring up the ultimate backup menu. And you guys should have the correct key binds if you had watched my ultimate backup tutorial. We're gonna go through the menu and look for K9 partner right there. And now that we have the Shepherd option right there popping up, we can go ahead and spawn him. There we go. We have the German Shepherd inside GTA 5 LSPDFR ready to patrol with us. He's looking good. And there is some more options under that menu. So be sure to spawn him first if you want to change some stuff. So we can actually change the face texture just by going through. All, all right, back to what I was doing. Under the face texture, we can change his color. So obviously we got all black. We got like the black face and brown body. And then we kind of have the mixture there, which is the first option. And then under canine shirt texture, we can actually change the vest color. So we have black, green, red, and blue. And I think that's the only options. And then accessories is how you change the uh, name on the vest. So police there, sheriff, rescue, security, and uh, that's about it. So pretty easy to install. All the links are down below. And if you guys want that German Shepherd in your game to make your patrolling experience a little bit better, this is how you do it. This is how I use the canine. Very easy. And we can just despawn them by hitting despawn canine right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it works for you guys. Let me know in the comments how it went. Uh, be sure to hit that like button and... Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.